All right, I'm refreshing it. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll assign myself as the driver. Let me just do that real quick. Perfect, it's good to go. I'll be there at eight o'clock, I appreciate it. All right, so heading out of my hometown here in Oklahoma, and this was definitely like an impromptu load. I mean, I, I had no intention of working, especially even working for Amazon today. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of sad, it's like Amazon, uh, it's not sad, it is what it is. Amazon has historically just been a great place to do work for, you know, probably four to five days a week. And, and 2024, the rates they've been offering have just been so low that I found myself working for them. Um, sometimes as little as like one, but like the most, never like, uh, like two days a week. Uh, last time I ran for them was last Sunday. Uh, got a little decent Vegas set up, but this whole week I've been uh, doing other stuff. Ran a couple uh, JB hunt loads. I've been having some pretty good luck with the uh, the Truck Smarter app. There's a uh, it, it's strange to me that the uh, that the power only market is actually performing better right now than the dry van market. Uh, it, you know when I started this whole thing up, I why did I buy a dry van? Well. I didn't have a trucker to ask and everybody I was kind of checking out on YouTube had a dry van and it's like well that's probably what I should be doing. I'm not a person who like dwells on mistakes or I really have no regrets but the if I could do one thing over again I probably wouldn't have bought the dry van. Um, I do use it. Uh, I have a few direct customers that I, I, I do use the dry van for so it's good but I don't, I don't use it nearly as much as I should considering what I paid for it but um, yeah, this, this little Amazon setup tonight um, you know, another thing too is with this, with the way that the load board's been, it's kind of freed up a lot of my time because before I was one of these people who would like be paying attention to it all the time. I pretty much now don't watch the load board is definitely not nearly as much as I used to and I'm not watching it that much now. I kind of like wait for the loads to come to me through spot capacity and that's what ended up happening. And I, all week long they've been sending trailers to like you know, the Ontario, Rialto, San Bernardino area for like $350, $400. I'm not gonna run it for that. I can make more money working for another broker, so I'm definitely not gonna do that. But they sent out spot capacity tonight. I think it was for like six or 650. It's a little uh, pick up a trailer in Otai, run it over to National City, which is like 16 miles away, and then take an empty up to Rialto. And they were offering 650. I responded back with 750 and uh, they came back and they're like, could you do 700? And so that's what I ended up taking it for. So I'm due down there at eight o'clock. Uh, it is right now 717. According to my little GPS, I'm gonna get there at 744, betting we beat that. But uh, anyway, just heading out of Oklahoma now. I'll check, in with, I'll check in with you if I can talk. I will check in with you when I get down to Otai. All right, just got that arrival successfully detected. Definitely wanna take a picture of that every time. I mean, it's, it's not just something, I don't preach it. You can see me, I'm practicing it too. Uh, there shouldn't be any discrepancy of when you arrive at a site to when they actually tell you in like the trip details when you did and you'd be surprised how many times that's off by like two to five minutes. And it's like, there's no excuse for that. I mean, on something that, on something that I arrived here at this time, there should be no discrepancy in what time I got here. But heading up to the gate now, I'm gonna check into Sand 5, got my special little red light on. I'm gonna have to slip on my safety vest and give them a call. This is one of those sites, they don't have the screen set up yet, so you uh, you actually have a phone number on their board for you to call when you get here. Big sign up that says, go to stop sign, call number on board. Hey, how are you? Uh, oh no, right. not doing a not doing the hostler tonight. Oh. I'm doing the uh, I'm, I'm running up to Rialto. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you moved there? Yeah. Well, I, I live down here, but I, I just I'm running a load up there tonight. Oh. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, Sand Five. Sand Five, check in. I actually like this because you're talking to someone. Like that. Uh, last four are KFM7, Kentucky Frank Mary 7. 
Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes. <laughs> All right, I will take it. Let me check out that load. Thank you. So because I've been here before, I know that most of their outbound loads at San 5 leave out of the 300. They're actually, no, these are the 100s. I know they leave on this side of the building, but I came over here. I'm in a spot where technically I shouldn't be. If the yard gets busier, if anybody asks me to move, of course I'll move, but I love having an eyes on that red light. And when that light turns green, I'm betting I find that out probably at least five to 10 minutes before the app tells me so. So the trick that I was showing you when I came in, the only thing you have to keep in mind is sometimes they change the trailer from where you're picking it up. So if they, if they change that trailer up on you, you're gonna be up a creek you're sitting there waiting for it so it is a good idea to keep an eye on the app because if they update it they're gonna tell you hey this is now doctor 108 rather than 117 I'm sitting over there 117 just waiting and I would have been there all night so it's important to check back to that app now is local Amazon work coming back online I have no idea one thing I did like seeing today was last few times last few weeks most of 2024 there's been like three maybe four loads at a time on the board today was like old san diego numbers today there was like 40 was the low number at one point today there was 60 loads on the board so the loads are there the problem is the rates are not so I'm, I'm hopeful that with the load count going back up, and the rates have come up a little bit. I mean, there's nothing really on there under $2 a mile. It's just everything else was just, you know, $230 a mile, $240 a mile. So do I feel fortunate to have got this one off spot capacity? Of course I do. But gonna head over to DSD3, one of my least favorite Amazon sites to go to because it's not a big Amazon yard like this. It is uh, working with the street. So next stop, DSD3.
let's do a little blind reaction here. After every Amazon load I finish, I like to come in here and take a look at my grade. My trailing seven days, let's go down here to performance. You don't have to do this with other brokers, but Amazon's definitely one of those you wanna keep an eye on because if they're gonna mark you down, it's better to start the dispute now. Apparently I have terrible sell signal here. Let's see here. So that's that's the last six weeks. Let's look at the last seven days, which will show up this which will show this load I just finished with here. So let's apply that and be sure. I mean I was there everywhere on time. I use the app. Let's see. Moment of truth. Loading. God, the cell service up here is terrible. Come on. All right, here we go. On time, 100, acceptance, 100, app usage, 100, 100. Okay, so that's where I like to keep it. If any of these things had been marked down, I would absolutely start the performance dispute now. You can get the, you'd be surprised, you get that performance dispute going right now. And it can get resolved as opposed to waiting for it to be on there for a couple days, especially if you do your performance disputes on worst day to do them is like Sunday because they take like three four days to do that I just finished that last thing uh, just dropped off in Rialto I've got an eye on a couple of loads maybe but I'm kind of trying to make it back in a reasonable hour this could be it I'm gonna go in here and get something to drink but uh if this video keeps going on and on I got something else if not I'll break down tonight for you so this is like the story of my life. I end up at like the sketchiest truck stops just as, or gas stations. I should have gone to the pilot across the street. I just, I saw this place and it was on the same side of the street as me. And I'm like, yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm walking up there and this woman sees me carrying the camera and she's like, do you want to make a movie? And I'm, <laughs> that's not what I'm here to do. And, uh, uh and then I, I'm in there using the restroom and, and somebody's left a handwritten note about like, call this number for sex. And it's just like, I, I, I'm apparently, uh, it's not what I came for. That's definitely not what I came for. What I came for actually is I got a, I'm looking at a couple loads. It's 12.07, that other load's done, grade's good, no issue there. I don't wanna get stuck up in the Inland Empire after traffic starts. If I'm heading back to San Diego now, everything's good. But if I, uh, if I stay up here till about three in the morning, I'm for sure gonna hit that Temecula traffic. So I'm keeping an eye on like a couple things. They had a load earlier going from uh, Beaumont, which is just down the street, back to Temecula. That gets me paid some of the way home. The problem with that is it didn't leave until two. Um, I, I just, I, I don't wanna, I just don't wanna be up here when that traffic starts. That traffic's hellacious. And then they've got one on here now, uh, San Bernardino, four stops ending in Rialto. I'm close to it. It starts at 111, but it's not supposed to be done till 516 in the morning. And for $300, I'd pay $300 to not have to go through that traffic in the morning. So working on a couple things, if nothing hits at 1230, I'm going to turn this truck around, bobtail home and, and go from there. But basically just between now and 1230, just going to try to use all the tools in the tool belt and see what happens and stay away from the, uh, the person who saw me with the camera. So this is where things can start happening fast. I, you know, our rates, is Amazon coming back? I don't know. They really have not been in 2024, but I was just right there at the in and out I had every intention of eating there. I had to walk up and say, hey, can you pack that up to go? They threw a little, uh, one of these little local runs here in town. I think it's like Fontana to another location here in town, like Eastville, running an empty over there, $15 a mile. That sounds great. It's only like a $200 payout, but still it's like, these are the kind of things that I, I kind of like strive to get as much as I can. So heading to Fontana now, according to my Amazon GPS, I'll be there, I'm 11 miles away. Let's see here, I am not due there until 1.31. It's 12.35 now, so I know for sure I'm gonna make it, but you know, is Amazon coming back on? All right. Is Amazon coming back online? I have no idea, but you know, coming up here for 700 bucks, Proceed that, to another little two. Left. Get to turn that off. Another little two hundred dollars puts me at nine hundred for the night. We'll see what else it brings. I'm really trying to get out of this area though and avoid that uh, fifteen south traffic heading through Temecula. But time to get over to Fontana. 
I remember LAX9 now. This is the site that broke me from using my trailer with Amazon. I used to do trailer required loads for them. They used to pay pretty well. This is the place. I don't mean to speak like poorly of it, but I mean, I showed up here with an appointment time. I got up here and they're like, oh no, we can maybe get it done tomorrow. And it was like, you gotta be kidding me. I ended up qualifying for detention for two days in a row because of this. I was stuck up here. There's a staging area about a quarter mile from here. When I came around the corner and I saw the lot, I'm like, oh my God, I remember this place. This one was the one, uh, some sites are like set up to, most site, every Amazon site's ready to like take their trailers. You show up with your trailer to this site, probably about, I don't know, nine, 10 months ago, they were not ready for me at all. A huge facility, you would think, like, I mean, like I could unload it myself in less time, but they, they had me up here for like two, two days, several calls to ROC, and this was the one that broke me. This was the one that's like, I'm, I'm not using my trailer anymore for Amazon. Uh, I don't know what type of dollar per mile rate we'd be talking for me to do it, but definitely not. Just pick it up and empty here tonight, getting ready to check out of here and see where they send me to next. Man, so things started happening fast when I was up in Rialto. I had to go up to that in and out counter and say, hey, can I get my order to go? Uh, I had every intention of eating there, but then they started dropping those little local loads, you know, a uh, couple hundred bucks, which is Amazon's minimum to, to run one over from like Fontana to Eastvale. And then while I was at Eastvale, they dropped another one and I was so tempted to book it, but I didn't know... There's a lot of times those sites up in Ontario, Eastville area that they're not taking empties or they have to redirect you somewhere. As soon as I got the green light from that guy saying, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely take the empty and everything like that. I went ahead and booked, technically double booked that next load. I knew I'd be out of there on time. I had like an hour or two uh, to work with. So I wasn't worried about that. Um, made it back. I was at my house last night at 7. It is now 4.45 in the morning. So 9 hours, 45 minutes in the truck. Uh, 1100 bucks almost. I filled up the truck yesterday. 36.3 uh, gallons. I had about 2 on there. So I probably used about, let's call it 30, 35 gallons. Probably 34, 35. But uh, I'll break down the numbers at the end. Uh, the only travesty of the night is I have an... <laughs> A in and out burger that I did not eat and that just kills me but I got a little guy he's about one foot six at home I know he'll crush this thing for me so getting ready to head home call it a night uh, would I have stayed out longer of course I mean you know like uh, they, they were they had a broken down trailer I was keeping an eye on going from like Oceanside to uh, I think it was Buena Park and it was creeping up from like six dollars seven eight dollars a mile if I were more serious if, if Amazon had been better lately I would have like tried to stay out longer and try to build this night into more but you know it's important to me that I get home and take those kids to school so I'll break down the numbers at the end as always I hope this video serves you well appreciate you for watching take care and then as soon as the guy told me that they were accepting empties I knew it was safe to book the next load, and I did. I was double booked for a moment. But I got that one done, and then I went to the next spot. But the problem there is, is my food got cold. And you know how I feel about cold food. And I thought about, maybe I should just throw the burger away. I'm not gonna eat it. Let's get the onions off for you. But then I thought, you know, there's a little guy at home who would love this burger, and that's how this burger came to you. Is that good? Is that good? And that's how it went down. You were at home asleep, not knowing that I was going to bring you a burger. You want another bite? You can't have the whole thing. You wanna go with me next time? You wanna go with me next time? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You wanna go hang out with me in the truck? No, 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 you can't have that part. I know, I know, let me get the onions off. Onions are bad for bulldogs. Oh. If you were with me, I would've ordered the Flying Dutchman. No onions. Good boy.
You can't have the whole thing. You're a good boy. You can go with me next time.